So today I'm setting off on my first ever solo bike packing trip for seven days, possibly eight, depending on how I feel. I'm going to the South Downs and the Surrey Hills and I'm tackling 44 official climbs on a fully laden bike. There's the tour in the background. I'm not gonna see her again until next Sunday and I'll show you the bike in a bit, but I've got 158 kilometers today down towards East Meon near Petersfield. And that is practically 100 miles fully laden, but I have a tailwind. So I'm gonna get my head down, I'm gonna crack on and get some miles in. Uh, we'll talk to you again when I get to some new roads, which shouldn't be that far away. So what is the challenge? I aim to ride 43 of the official climbs in one week, cycling over 950 kilometers and climbing a staggering 12,000 meters in the process. So what are the official climbs? Author and cyclist Simon Warren created a list of British cycling's most notorious 100 climbs the hardest, steepest and most beautiful ascending roads in the UK. If there's a steep gradient, it's likely to be on the list. But it didn't stop there. His second book, Another 100 Climbs, was followed by recent editions and most recently the X List 100. My aim is to eventually ride them all, get my badge and entertain you along the way. All 525 of them. Right, so I'm coming up to the 50 kilometer mark and it's just dawned on me that I'm going to be riding my bike for the next seven days. And uh, that's just a great feeling, I can tell you. I've got, well, about 110k to go then if we've done about 50k, so it doesn't sound so bad. We're going to look, see now if we can find some food and a coffee. I've got sandwiches with me and I'm thinking save them till tea and have a nice hot meal somewhere. I don't know what's on route though, I haven't actually planned that bit, I just Plan A to B, this is the the one leg I didn't really pay much attention to. I've only got the one official climb today. So I've got 43 crammed into six rides after that. But there's definitely uh, been a few uphills testing the weight of this bike. And so far so good. But then again, you always say that when you feel good on a bike, it's when you're not feeling good on a bike, you start to regret it. So although I said there was only one official climb on today's route, I hadn't really checked the route as I've just said. And uh, Fovant Downs is an official climb, so there's definitely two. So that was the first test, 15% with these bags. Yeah, I got up, it was okay. Well, 81K down, so I'm halfway there. I've caught a massive tailwind through the valley there, through Cranbourne Chase, beautiful area. Just loving this, 80K to go. And I don't care, I'm just gonna keep pedaling, stop if I need to, and just enjoy myself. What a life, bike packing. <laughs> well, they were uh, asked me again in the morning if I don't sleep in my tent tonight. <laughs> And as I've already said, I didn't really look too much at this route. It's just more of an A to B. I typed in the end destination, put in the climb at the end, found the campsite. But I somehow found myself in the new forest. Nice surprise. And it's beautiful.
Deb said to me this morning, are you not going on any bridleways today? I don't know. Or road. But did I mention? I haven't actually checked over the route. <laughs> yeah, we're on a, there's a bit of a bridleway there. Test Valley, something or other. Uh, this is Test Valley. Beautiful though, well worth doing. Uh, just going to show you my bike setup now. I've been looking for somewhere beautiful all day and I think I've found somewhere. So there she is all loaded up. We have a Restrap 6 litre seat pack. We have the Restrap 14 litre handlebar bag, although with my little handlebars, I don't think you actually get 14 litres in there. There is supposed to be a pouch on here, but I wanted to use the um, Insta mount so I could film some of these official climbs properly for you, which means I've uh, attached my handlebar bag to the front. It has slipped down since this morning, so I need to fix that. Then we have got the small restrap frame bag. So uh, that sits there nicely in the triangle, fits perfectly in the trek. And then I've got two six litre small fork bags so that's uh, looking at it at the front. Obviously I've got the restrap handlebar bag where it's to carry me camera in. My little, uh, my little cup on the back there. So that's it. We've got tent, uh, mattress I think, a few items of clothing in there. We've got the food in the front right fork bag. We've got all my clothes in the front left. We've got my sleeping bag and some more clothes in there. And then I've got all my toiletries and my camera stuff in there. In here, I've got all the stuff I need to get straight away. That will be my uh, cables, locks, bike locks, etc. And then uh, I will show you this in a bit, what this little gadget is here. But we're about 115K in now, so not far to go. And I still feel properly fresh, which is worrying. Always worrying. <laughs> because you never know when it's going to happen. But anyway, we're doing well. Could be a bit warmer. The sun keeps coming out, disappearing in the clouds. But I'm completely lost now and I have no idea where I am. If I hadn't have come down that Test Valley bike right away, the motorway was the next turn in and certainly wasn't going to do that. So we're heading somewhere over there is Romsey. We're heading via Southampton somewhere. Um, so yeah, just a couple of big climbs at the end everything else is okay I've still got the tailwind so absolutely flying along there sort it out oh, and of course I got the bottle there because there is nowhere to carry a bottle on the frame I did try see if I could fit one in there but because I'm such a short ass there's no room between the wheel and the uh, frame <laughs> so with 145 kilometers on the clock we've made our way over to Beacon Hill at Exton this is the official climb for the day it's 2.2k long, average of 5%, max of 8, should be no problem this afternoon. And then we haven't got long to go to get to the campsite. What a great day this has turned out to be. <laughs> Beacon Hill was a little bit disappointing in the end, there was no summit, it was just a very narrow, high hedges. Occasional gates, you could see the views, but yeah, anyway, I made my short, short journey up a climb that I didn't really need to go up. <laughs> Who books a campsite at the top of a hill? <laughs> anyway, I found the campsite and there's only me and one other here. So uh, I pretty much go anywhere. That's one official climb down, 43 to go, and uh, we go straight up Butter Hill tomorrow, so we've got one for breakfast. So I'm going to settle in, put the tent up, and uh, do a time lapse, hopefully. You can see me put the tent up.
they have it on tent, ready for a night's sleep. Well, I'm pitched here. I'm going to lock the bike to the tree and then uh, toilets and showers are there. All right, so that's me set up. I'm just eating some food. Here's me little sleeping bag and pillow in there. Uh, got a bit of birthday cake to munch. Munch me sandwiches. I'm going to see if I can set up the camp stove and figure out how to make a coffee by boiling some water on that. Um, but tomorrow, a real adventure begins. The climbing begins with Butzer Hill and then uh, working my way through the South Downs. Yeah, I've only got 114 kilometers tomorrow and about the same climbing, so should be a good day. Rest up the legs a little bit before we uh, head on over to Eastbourne, Hastings, and then we'll circle back to tackle the Surrey Hills. I've got quite a few uh, of the actual 100 hills. I think Ditchling Beacon's in there. I think Toy Hill's in there. I think I might skip Box Hill because I've already done it, but Leaf Hill's definitely there. I'm staying at the bottom of Leaf Hill. But yeah, I'm going to spend a week. We will see you very shortly for day two.